Hey, what's up? This week we're going to do a vinyl chip epoxy garage floor. Okay, we started this project by grinding the concrete. Once we finish grinding, we take a two-part polyurea caulk, we caulk all of the cracks, and then shave the excess off with the razor. We always use a solid colored epoxy primer. In this case, we're using white because the chips we're using actually have a white color in them too. So we use a white just in case the primer shows through the chips. What we do is we apply the epoxy to the entire garage floor with a squeegee. We always shoot for 180 square feet per gallon or thereabouts. Once the floor is coated, we broadcast one quarter inch vinyl chips across the entire floor. Usually when we do it this way, you'll be able to see just a little bit of the epoxy showing through the chips. But for the most part, the entire floor is covered in vinyl chips. I got, I got something to show you. You know, I always wear my new shoes and I always mess them up. Yeah. And he got me shoes that have paint spots on them. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, here we go. Day two. Troy and Schaefer went to the job early today. They scraped the entire floor. It kind of helps get it smooth. And then they vacuum all the extra chips up. We recycle what we can. Then the rest of it that we can't recycle, we vacuum them up and throw them away. So now that the floor is completely clean, the last step is to apply a clear polyaspartic urethane. Polyaspartic urethanes are great because they don't turn yellow like some clear epoxies do. So this is actually going to be our final coat. In the past, we've always done a three coat system. We do epoxy primer with the chips and then we top coat with clear epoxy. And then to try to keep the clear epoxy from turning yellow, we will top coat it with urethane. So now we're eliminating that clear epoxy step so that we don't have to worry about it turning yellow. And we're going straight to a polyspartic urethane. The goal here is to put it down around 100 square feet per gallon, give or take. We squeegee it across the entire floor, then we back roll it a few times. I guess the key here is, I always tell my guys to keep rolling it. Like, you have to roll it to death. Keep rolling it and keep rolling it, and eventually you'll have it evenly spread across the entire floor. This one turned out really well. The customer is really happy. Um, they were the, the coolest customers we've had in a long time. It's just really nice to go to work for nice people. Um, I was grateful to be working for them this week. Got that one done. It turned out great and going on to the next one. Yeah, so like I said, this is my new office. Um, the echo is awful. I hope this video is audible. I hope it's okay. But um, we're going to be making a lot of changes now though. We're going to remodel this place. We're going to be set up to do video all the time. We're going to be set up to do podcasts all the time. So the goal is to do more of this and the only way that we can do more of, of videos and podcasts is if I don't have to set up every single time we do anything. For now though, this is probably the last video for a couple of weeks. I know it's been three or four weeks since I posted, but this is probably going to be the last video for about a month. We're going to remodel this place. Um, I got some new camera stuff like this lens is new and um, I don't know if you can tell like backgrounds all blurry. Looks nice. Um, anyways, lens is new. I got new camera, some new camera stuff. Got a lot of new things coming. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hit all the buttons, like, subscribe, all those things. Hit the bell so you'll be notified of new ones and I will see you next time.